What do tacos and ferrite beads have in common? Well, stick around. Let's talk about it. Hey, hey, everybody. Tim here, Gray Man Poda, amateur radio call sign, November Whiskey 9 Foxtrot. In a recent Mailbag Monday episode on Ham Radio Tube, Mike had a viewer that asked the question, what is the right number of ferrites to use on one of those chokes from ABR Industries? What is the right number of ferrites if I build one of those chokes from ABR? Is it like tacos? More is more better. Well, <laughs> I can certainly appreciate uh, the taco analogy there. So well, Mike replied with some advice that Chuck had given him. So when I was visiting ABR uh, the last time, I was talking with Chuck about exactly this. And I have a, a, a quite a few of their uh, inline chokes. And basically what Chuck was telling me is three is good, five's better, seven is the best. Well, that's good advice. And I have no problems with it. But I asked the question, how can we test that theory? Well, come on over to the bench with me. I think I have something set up that will allow us to do that. So what I have over here on the bench is the common mode current choke test rig from uh, Halibut Electronics. And if you're interested in something like this, I'll put a link down below so you can find it uh, online. Um, and we're gonna use a Nano VNA. Now I've got this hooked up to the computer, so uh, we'll be able to put that up on the screen here so we can see these. But essentially what we're doing is we are introducing a signal through channel zero into the coax, loop it back around, and we're gonna measure it on channel one. So what's nice about this test rig is it shorts out the center pin uh, in uh, the cable coming over from the Nano VNA and shorts it to the shield of our coax. And then when it gets back over to the other side, it shorts it back to the center pin so we can uh, take those measurements. So what we're using here is about a two and a half to three foot loop of uh, RG8X uh, coax and I have got uh, some mix 31 ferrites, uh, snap-on ferrites uh, that I've purchased. All right, so looking at the uh, uh, chart here, uh, what we've got is we're using a stimulus uh, between one and 30 megahertz. Uh, the green trace is what we're looking at, and this is uh, recording currently in uh, negative DB. So we're sending a known uh, signal strength from the VNA through the coax back into it and we're going to test what that attenuation is. Uh, so currently we're looking right now there is some natural attenuation that is happening uh, across the cable uh, so roughly at one megahertz it's uh, about two negative two DB and up towards the uh, 30 megahertz it's just a little over five but that's that's uh, not as important uh, as, as what we want to do is see the relationship uh, between three ferrites, five ferrites, and, and seven ferrites that are uh, on the cable. So to get started, let's go ahead and just put our first ferrite on. So it looks like it was a big jump there, but actually what, what happened was the, uh, the scale shifted. Uh, but what we can look at uh, from our from our test points is that uh, at the roughly 40 meter band now we're seeing about 7 dB of attenuation at the 20 meter band we're looking at uh, about 9 dB of attenuation and at the 10 meter band we're looking at close to 12 uh, negative 12 dB of attenuation. So right there, we saw some gains just by putting one ferrite on there. So let's go ahead and add the second one. Let that readjust. So adding the second ferrite bead, we're, we're just over negative 10 dB of attenuation at the uh, 40 meter band. We are at uh, about 12 and a half negative 12 and a half dB of attenuation at the beginning of the 20 meter band. And we are uh, over 15, uh, negative 15 dB of rejection at the beginning of the 10 meter band. So definitely looking at the chart, two is uh, better than one. All right, so readjusting here. Um, we've got three beads on here now, three ferret beads on here. And looking at the chart, uh, we are at 
about 12 and a half, negative 12 and a half dB of attenuation at the 40 meter band, about negative 15 uh, dB of attenuation at the 20 meter band, and uh, at negative 18 ish uh, dB attenuation at the 10 meter band. So here's kind of our baseline for that first question, you know, is three, five, or seven. So, so those are our results for the three ferrite beads. Um, let's go ahead and put a fourth one on here now. And you can see at the uh, 40 meter band, we are just under negative 15 uh, dB of attenuation. We are at about a little, little, little less than a halfway point uh, between negative 15 and negative 20. Uh, so we'll say about 17, negative 17 dB of attenuation at the 20 meter band. And at the uh, 10 meter band, we are just under negative 20 uh, dB of attenuation. All right, so here's our, here's our fifth uh, ferrite. So looking at the chart here, you can see there's about negative 16 dB of attenuation at the uh, 40 meter band. And probably about negative 18 dB of attenuation at the 20 meter band. And um, probably about negative 22 dB of attenuation at the beginning of the 10 meter band. Uh, so first question, is five better than three? Well, it definitely, shows that five is better than three. Uh, but something Mike also mentioned is at a certain point you start to get this uh, uh, point of diminishing returns where, um, you know, if you continue to add more, you, you're still getting more rejection or attenuation, uh, but it, you know, how much, you know, how, how much is it? Is it, is it gonna be a big enough difference to, to really be effective? All right, so the last, uh, the last two here, let's go ahead and get those done. So for the, the, uh, the 40 meter band now, we're, uh, we're still just under about halfway between uh, negative 15 and negative 20. Uh, so, but we'll call it, we'll call it negative 17 uh, dB of attenuation at the 40 meter band. We're right at negative 20 dB of attenuation at the 20 meter band and we are uh, probably about 23, negative 23 dB of attenuation at the um, 10 meter band. So here's the last one. And this will finish our, which is better, more better, which is more better. All right, so with seven ferrite beads on, on the, uh, the cable now, uh, you can see we're at about 18, negative 18-ish uh, on of attenuation at the uh, 40 meter band. So we're about negative 21 or 22 uh, dB of attenuation at the 20 meter band. And we are about uh, probably negative 24 uh, dB of attenuation at the 10 meter band. So definitely we saw decent results with three. We did see better results with five, and we did get our best results with seven. Well, as you've seen, we have definitely validated the theory that three is good, five is better, and seven is best. If you're interested in learning more about the common mode current choke test rig from Halibut Electronics, please subscribe to the channel and drop me a comment down below and letting me know. If I get enough interest in it, I'll go ahead and uh, make some detailed videos about it. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. And hopefully one day, we'll catch you on the air.